Okay guys, so what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to route your iPhone um, HTTP traffic through a client so you can view the actual request being made and see the network traffic originating from your device. Um, so we need a couple tools here. We need to have a network set up such as um, you know, just like a Wi-Fi network and then we need to use a proxy tool. In this case, I'm going to use a tool called Fiddler. Uh, Fiddler works for, I think, both Mac and Windows, and I'll show you guys how to configure that. So what I'm first going to do is start Fiddler. Okay, so first thing we'll do is open Fiddler. And basically what we want to do is we want to set it up so our, our phone, the traffic is being routed through Fiddler, which is a local proxy. So as both computers are on the same network. The phone's on the same network as this computer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the IP address from Fiddler and I'm going to set that up in my iPhone here. So if I go over to the network that we're on in Wi-Fi, there's a setting called HTT Proxy. If we go over to Manual, we can set the IP in the port. So I'm grabbing the IP from Fiddler. And then the default port for Fiddler is 8888. Okay. So I just requested Quora.com and you can see the traffic is now routing through Fiddler. Um, if it's HTTPS, we're going to have to enable um, decryption and uh, Fiddler, yeah, Fiddler is going to uh, create like a self-signed cert. Might give us a warning, but it should work. So let's just go to, okay, so let's go to a website now that we're routing traffic, CNN.com. Okay, and you can see all the traffic coming through. Um, there's quite a bit of it. And for each request, you can see the headers. Um, should be able to see just raw content as well. So I don't know which of these are actual pages. Okay, so yeah, so even though this is um, yeah, so we can see the actual request coming through the, through the phone, and we can see the HTML here. Now, what's also cool is we could see mobile app traffic as well. So if I go to 
So now the traffic on the phone is routing through Fiddler. So if I open like a native app like Hotels, we can see we can see the request being made. And if I like search for a hotel, it's just making these API requests. This is all JSON content. And we can actually see what's going on under the hood, even though it's a uh, it's some a native app. These are third-party beacons, but you can see um, the request being made for the various pages. So that is how you can proxy traffic through um, and, uh, through Fiddler on your iPhone. It's really useful for being able to look at the headers for for these requests and see actually like what's going on at the network level. So I hope that's helpful.